on initiations. Most people joining magical brotherhoods or any form of people promising them learning, teaching, are fakes. How to receive initiations directly from the gods? Well, you need to prepare a vessel. As a mortal being, you engage in homoiosis steel. You expand your nature through insanity and through rigor and restriction in order to constitute a vessel that may be consecrated and sacramented. In other words, homoiosis teo is building yourself up and meeting the gods halfway so that they may initiate you. Those thinking they can manipulate the gods or that the gods themselves in the magical business, for example, Talenek Paradigm, are complete cretins. They are giving themselves titles, hierarchies, initiations, and are ignored by the gods. So, there are masters, for example, the Buddhist or Hindi masters, that are conveying only what they themselves attained in order to teach their disciples. This is a shock therapy. In the West, for example, you have Buddhist monks coming, initiating hundreds and most of them wasted into shit because they're not prepared some of them go insane some of them think they're already enlightened other will just take this and leave it wasting all it maybe one of them is actually putting it to good use so ignore all those master mistress disciple thing prepare yourself if you have enough discipline and rigor yourself enough maturity, insanity and strictness yourself in order to go through a years long path. The Pythagorean path has no mercy for fools in order to receive initiations from the gods. And books are very necessary. Yes, academic, armchair magicians, that is necessary. Why? Because it orders your knowledge. Because you do not receive an initiation of second sight, of clear audience, of trafficking with the spirits, gaining command over spirits, just in order to go insane on that. You need to know what you're doing, you need to gather your experience, you need to order your knowledge, you need to revere, commit to certain things, to your vision, to the vision of God, in order to be of any war. Otherwise, join magical brotherhoods. Learn the rituals and ceremonies, manipulate petty entities and spirits, and deceive and delude yourselves into any notion of inflated power, into any notion that you constitute something with yourself in this world or on the other side. What is the greatest measure? Death. Death is the greatest judge of all. And you will know when you'll die what you have attained and what you have squandered. So we live in good faith, according to certain certainties, according to what we received, according to what we may do, elucidate, understand, command, hoping that this is the key, the clavis. But don't expect it from mortals, especially masters, that have absolutely no skills of themselves to convey you titles, great titles. Now myself, have you ever heard of the idea of Pratyeka Buddhayana? I am not enlightened, I am not illumined, I have plenty of realizations. But that means that in this time and age, sometimes it's better to walk yourself, because you experience most of the presences, experiences, metaphysical, mystical, taumaturgic, when you're all alone, away from the crowds, away from idiots telling you what to do, what not to do, away from fake gurus and idiots. It is up to your good discernment and intelligence that is valued up there. It is up to your disciplined, mature reasoning. That is valued. It is up to a heroic stance, a greatness of life that you went through, that is valued. Thank you.